to the Potomac Curling Club and our coverage of the 12th Annual Inaugural Bond Spiel. My name is David Baxter. I'll be describing the action today for you. Our feature game today is the first event final uh, of the Bond Spiel with uh, Team Murray against Funkatron 1250. Uh, the uh, Team Murray is, is uh, uh, we'll be throwing red, Funkatron yellow, and the yellow has a hammer. We've just started to play in the first end. Uh, this is the last of the lead stones. As you can see, the uh, first three stones have, uh, all be, uh, are all guards out front. And call here is to come between uh, the two uh, guards closer to the middle and into the rings. The uh, sweeper seven later brush to is going to uh, it's going to hit the uh, the red guard and. It's going to uh, be knock the red guard into the rings, right at the top of the 12. Second for Team Murray is Connor Mulvey. He's uh, attempting a draw around the. Uh, the yellow guard to the, uh, the right of the house, and uh, call was into the forefoot. The uh, sweepers get it by, and uh, now off. It looks like it's going to uh, go to the uh, uh, T line and uh, married. So now uh, skip for uh, Funkatron. Melvin Shaw has asked for uh, the uh, the front to be uh, opened up. And uh, Stephen Inkson, the second, is going to attempt to do that. Hmm? Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. I'm going to get help. I thought I was going to be all by myself today. But uh, please do. Please, please do everything. I, you know. <laughs> I uh, I now have a uh, a producer for the show. Oh boy, Heather. Heather's uh, Heather's joined me to uh, look after cameras, etc. And maybe she can help me with figuring out how to be louder because uh, people have complained that I'm uh, I'm uh, pretty quiet on this thing, and I don't really want to yell. But uh, you know, anyway, I'll do my best to be louder than yesterday because uh, people who uh, tuned in yesterday told me they could barely hear me. So we'll give that a try. Uh, the uh, the attempt to open up the middle just uh, uh, removed one but left a, a guard in the center line and a guard was called for. That guard is kind of wide though and uh, the uh, shot stone at uh, T-line on the forefoot is uh, wide open for Steven to attempt to hit and roll and that's, uh, that's what he's going to try to do. That is me, yes. Uh, looks a little outside and it's hanging outside. Uh, not, I mean, it wasn't a ton of weight there by any means, but uh, it did not move. And uh, he did remove the uh, the shot stone. Um, the uh, the shooter was uh, swept out. So what we have is uh, uh, that uh, red stone right at the very top uh, of the 12 foot, and uh, and nothing else in the ring. Well, for Team Murray, uh, Scott Eady is actually uh, looking after the house for the most part, but he is throwing third and has come down to uh, throw the next stone. Uh, again, it's going to be uh, a draw uh, into the four foot behind cover. Yeah, it's hanging, hanging out uh, outside a little bit. It doesn't look like it's going to bury. It's going to be wide open. It's going to uh, come into the eight foot uh, and be shot. 
but uh, again, it's wide open for uh, the, uh, the third for uh, Funkatron and Pete Morelowitz to attempt a hit and roll. Shots on the way. Uh, again, looks like it's going to uh, stay wide and uh, probably not going to stay. Uh, no, it's, it, it is. Um, it's going to stay in the 12 foot on the on the side and be shot rock. So uh, uh, Sean Murray is asking for uh, a nose hit here and then uh, if uh, successful, uh, Murray will lie too. There is a guard out front but um, the uh, the, the red guard out front isn't uh, in the way of the Yellowstone. You can see it all. Yep, yep, yep. Yes! Hard. Hard, Hard. Looked a little inside to begin with, but the sweepers held it. Yes! They're going to remove the stone. Uh, the shooter will not stay, though. And so, again, we're left with the, uh, with the red stone at the top of the 12 foot um, in the rings. And now... Uh, the call for uh, Pete is to, uh, again, draw uh, to the center four foot behind cover. Stone is on the way, and again seems to be uh, seems to be a little wide. They're t attempting to tick actually off the uh, the red guard, but that uh, but it uh, went by. And uh, again, everybody seems to be just a little uh, just a little wide here uh, at, at the beginning. And uh, the uh, the shooter does uh, is is a shot stone. It is um, behind the T line. Uh, looks like it's uh, made. Either be just biting eight foot or four foot, or just uh, just past that. And so once again, uh, the call hit and roll. Line's pretty good. Be ready, boys. Be ready. Looks like they've uh, whoa, 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 whoa. tightened up the ice a little bit too. Yep, yep. Probably not going to see a lot of weight here. Looks like it's going to be a nose hit. Oh, a little, uh, little movement to the outside. And uh, now uh, Murray again lying two. The call is going to be a uh, draw behind cover again, maybe the four foot. Okay, drawn to the forefoot, and um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Melvin Shaw is the uh, skip of uh, Funkatron. He's come down to throw his first shot. Twenty-two viewers already. My goodness. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for getting up early to uh, be part of this. Okay, the shots on the way, and uh, once again, seems to be hanging out wide. This is going to tick off the uh, the red guard out front, and uh, they're going to attempt to at least get it on the rings to be second shot. 
and it looks like they're successful in doing that. Uh, yes, they were. So uh, yellow is now t second shot. Uh, the shot stone is still the red stone uh, back eight foot. And you probably heard uh, Scott uh, say through uh, Sean's mic that uh, the, the, the call is to, to come, you know, top house. Uh, be at the very least second shot and, and uh, covering the, uh, the shot stone, but uh, better would be to uh, come uh, into, you know, the top of the eight foot behind cover and make the, uh, what I assume would be a draw attempt by uh, Funkatron uh, more difficult. We'll see, everybody's been wide here on this line, so they've tightened up the ice and um, We'll see if uh, they've made the correct adjustment here to uh, get the get the uh, rock behind cover. <laughs> and certainly inside of the uh, the line that most people have had, the uh, sweepers haven't laid a brush to it, so it must be a little on the heavy side. We'll see. Yeah, they haven't laid a brush to it at all. They're just going to let this uh, end up where it's going to end up. It looks like it's going to come to the, uh, almost to the, uh, the shot stone. Uh, yes, it is. It's uh, back four, and um, so uh, this is Hammer, and uh, Melvin will just uh, attempt to come to. Uh, that stone a little bit on the inside and uh, and score his one. Okay, they've changed their mind. Um, you probably heard that from uh, Melvin's mic. They're uh, they're going to throw the uh, the hit on the shot stone. Um, it's potential, certainly a potential double there. And if they uh, if he was able to hit and stick, he would score two. Here we go. Final shot on the way. Actually, I don't think with that weight that he would have enough to uh, to um, remove both stones. So he's all he's attempting to do is is hit and stay. Looks like uh, that uh, stone moved on him though, and uh, they're attempting to uh, sweep it out. But uh, looks like uh, Murray will steal one in the first end, and so after one, it's uh, Team Murray one and Funkatron twelve fifty zero. Okay, so uh, T. Murray, having scored one in the first end, will uh, throw first. Their lead is Jeremy Singer, and uh, he is attempting to put up a second uh, a center guard. Looks like it's going to be a little bit on the heavy side. They're going to bring it into the house and uh, right to the top of the f uh, top four foot. Actually, going to hit the T line. And a uh, corner guard asked for by uh, Melvin Shaw of his lead, uh, Joe Rockenbach.
Very nice two guard by Joe. And uh, now the uh, call for a tight guard, tight center guard uh, of the, uh, the shot stone. I'm sure Scott won't mind if it uh, comes into and bites a little bit, but uh, he uh, put the broom for a tight guard. This one looks like it's a little bit um, outside again, and uh, they're just going to attempt to, now that it's starting to curl, they're just going to attempt to bring it in as, as uh, close to the center line as possible. It's a two guard, and it's uh, about a rock, um, uh, rock and change off uh, the center line on the left-hand side. Shotstone is fully exposed, and now uh, Melvin's asked for a hit and roll. This one's curling. The sweep sweepers are on, we're on it uh, pretty quickly. They're just trying to get a piece, and I don't think they're going to get a piece. It's going to slide on by. Calls uh, three guard and uh, in front of the shot stone. It's good, and uh, it's going to just uh, over curl slightly, but is uh, is a good guard, and uh, that was uh, going to uh, uh, ask Steven Enixon to uh, to peel that guard. The guard was removed, but the shooter stays in front, and it's, uh, it is still uh, partially guarding the shot stone. And uh, Scott Eady has asked for uh, another guard out front. Once again, the attempt here is to attempt to uh, clean up the front. This uh, is going to remove this, the uh, red guard on the other side of uh, center, but uh, once again, the shooter stays, and now there is quite a cluster of uh, guards in front of the shot stone. It is very well protected as everything is overlapped, and uh, it's going to be very difficult for, uh, for uh, Funkatron to get at that as things stand right now. So... Uh, what they're going to attempt to do is uh, add another uh, stone in front. Uh, this time, I think, uh, uh, on, on the other side, uh, uh, just on the other side of center, and uh, uh, either up front, uh, you know, in the sort of two position with everything else, or a little bit further in if you can uh, get something just uh, a little bit buried behind that cluster would be great.
Looks like it was uh, outside and uh, they had to wait for it to curl and now it's coming. And uh, it's going to end up very nice uh, in the uh, in the hole there, uh, guarding up uh, that side of the uh, shot stone. And now Vice uh, Pete Morelowitz is uh, going to attempt to uh, probably throw some heavy weight here. We're going to see uh, how many of these stones he, uh, he can get rid of. They need to get rid of uh, more than one here. So we'll see what happens. Yep. This is going to turn out very nicely. Very nicely. A nice shot by Pete. Um, not sure that was exactly the call, but uh, the uh, uh, one stone in off the other, and it uh, spins into the uh, shot stone and moves it to the back of the uh, 12 foot, leaving his uh, the leaving the spinner which came to the side as shot, and uh, Scott Eady will attempt to remove it. one appears to be uh, the outside and is not going to come back with that way. It's one thing that I've seen. Uh, I haven't had the chance to play on this sheet yet this year, but uh, if you have your weight up, um, you best not be wide because it's not going to come back. So now, um, Funkatron is shot. Shot stone is on the tee line um, in the eight foot. And now uh, the call is to uh, is to place a rock. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty much center line and also uh, around the same place as uh, the shot stone, just just in the eight foot, and to lie two. This one's going to come uh, into the rings. I'm not sure if it uh, came far enough to be a second shot or not. Yes, it did. So, uh, Funkatron is lying too. And uh, Sean Murray will attempt to uh, get to the inside of the uh, shot stone over here on the side and uh, roll behind cover. Stone's on the way. Looks, this looks pretty good. Um, it uh, ended up being nose hit. I thought it was going to get uh, just a little bit to the inside there, but it didn't, uh, didn't quite get there. It's a nose hit, so Murray's now shot. And uh, Melvin Shaw will come down with his, uh, for his first shot of the uh, of the end and attempt to uh, do the, the same hit and roll that uh, Team Murray attempted a second ago. Supers on that right away. It looks like uh, that one got inside and is going to uh, wreck on a guard here. It does and uh, actually finds its way through uh, all the rocks in the house and is now partially guarding the shot stone belonging to Murray and uh, right away Sean looks to remove the other uh, yellow stone in the house.
Yeah, the inside roll is pretty much taken away now on the uh, on the shot stone. So if they can find a way to remove the uh, the yellow stone, which is set currently second shot, um, without jamming on the back one, I think they'll be uh, they'd be very happy with uh, where were they shot stone ended or the shooter ended up. Okay, they're going to attempt the uh, takeout and just uh, stay uh, uh, slightly on the high side um, of the uh, of the Yellowstone. If they do that, it will go through the hole no problem and uh, stay. And uh, Murray will then lie three. Okay, the last shot for uh, T. Murray on the way. Uh, Scott Eady is called to do the sweeping now. This looks very nice. It's uh, just on the high side, rolls to uh, the side of the sheet, and uh, T. Murray lies three, and Melvin Shaw will attempt to draw. He needs um, a little more, just a touch more than the full eight foot to, uh, to score his one. Okay, Hammer is uh, on the way. They are cleaning it. Never, never, really laid a brush to it. Um, that weight looks very nice to me. And uh, comes to the back of the forefoot. Uh, and Funkatron 1250 will score their one. And uh, tie the score after two ends. We're at 1-1. One, one. So the first uh, stone of the third end is on the way. Joe Rockenbach, the uh, lead for Funkatron 1250, throwing. Attempting a center guard. It's just going to be a touch heavy and uh, come into the 12 foot. Attempted takeout here by Jeremy Singer. Looks like it's uh, 
is going to um, make the takeout, and I'm not sure if it uh, is biting the rings or not. They're taking a look at it. And I'm still not sure if it's uh, biting the 12 foot or not. But uh, the, guard, uh, the call is the center guard again, so uh, uh, Melvin is going to ignore it and uh, just uh, add another guard out front. And this is going to uh, come to the uh, redstone. And if it was, if we had a you know concern one way or the other whether it was in or out, uh, now we know it's in because uh, the Yellowstone did uh, push it into the house. So Murray's lying one. And call here is. Uh, to come into the house on the side and watch it. And that draw is successful. There's uh, two stones right at the very top of the 12 foot. Murray lying to call here to remove the uh, stone on the side and uh, roll into the center. Brooke is on the way and uh, certainly going to get an inside roll here. Uh, is not going to be shot though. It did roll the inside, but uh, the redstone is still uh, still the, sh the shot stone right at the very top of the 12 foot on the center line. This call here is to remove the uh, stone just thrown by Punkatron uh, and uh, Connor Mulvey will attempt to take out. Sweepers are on it. They attempt to a little roll to the outside if they can, uh, which it's going to do, and I believe it's biting the 12 foot, so uh, Team Murray again, line two. Once again, uh, Steven Nienixson will attempt to hit and roll to the inside. This time looks like it's uh, again a little bit on the in the outside and is going to the shooter is going to roll out of play. The uh, yep. the redstone was removed, but now uh, red is lying one at the top of the 12 foot. And uh, once again, uh, the call is going to be to draw to the outside uh, to lie to. That's the way it's going to come up a little short, uh, but uh, certainly a usable guard for later. And now that will give the opportunity for uh, Funkatron to uh, make a play on their stone, which is uh, guarding um, the shot stone, make a play on it, uh, hopefully get a little bit of a roll either way and uh, roll into the rings. Keep Morello, we'll try that and actually, you know, 
if everything worked out well for them, they could uh, they could roll the shooter on as well. But we'll see what happens. This one uh, is uh, is going to take is going to remove their uh, yellow stone, and the shooter is going to roll out of play, leaving the uh, shot stone right where it was. So. Uh, They looked at uh, drawing behind the uh, drawing behind the the uh, red guard, and that's actually what they were going to play. Um, there was some discussion about splitting the uh, the shot stone. We're going to leave that there and uh, draw behind their uh, corner guard. concern here is that that's a lot of weight and they're attempting to um, they're attempting to tick off the shot stone which they do and uh, very nice plan B there there was uh, that had a lot of weight and it needed to uh, tick off the uh, the shot stone in order to stay in play and uh, they did uh, manage to uh, hold the line on it so Murray is lying too and the uh, call here to remove the shot stone on the right side. Looks like they're going to get the nose hit. And uh, Punkatron lying one. Here the... Uh, the call to uh, either uh, they they wouldn't mind a nose hit, but if they could get a lo little bit of an outside roll on the uh, on the hit, that'd be great as well here. Swoopers were on it right away, and looks like they're going to uh, get a little bit, actually a little bit of an inside roll. So Murray line two, uh, the shot zone now closer to the center line. And the uh, call here is going to be attempt to hit and roll um, at least close to the uh, to the corner guard. So the Melvin Shaw's first uh, stone of the end is on the way. Looks like uh, he's going to get a little bit of an outside roll on the takeout. Uh, the yellow stone stays to lie shot. And once again, uh, uh, T. Murray will attempt to remove it and uh, get a little bit, uh, either a nose hit or a little bit of an outside roll. The most important thing, though, is that it stays in the rings to lie to. Stone is on the way, and uh, very nicely done. The uh, little bit of the outside roll, um, exactly what uh, Team Murray would have wanted, and so they are lying two. Uh, both stones in the uh, top of the 12 foot, and uh, 
here again, uh, Melvin will come down and attempt to remove the uh, stone on the uh, on the side and uh, roll into the center. Stone is on the way, and the uh, sweepers are now on it. They're going to remove the stone, uh, but uh, they only got uh, a piece of the stone, and the shooter is going to roll out of play, so uh, Sean Murray will have an open draw for uh, his second point. You're now on. I'm on. Well, Been joined you, here at, uh, at the broadcast position oh God. Uh, by, uh, what's your name again? Rob Chester. Where are you from, Rob Chester? The Potomac Curling Club. Uh, <laughs> yes. What was your uh, first hometown ever? Uh, Buffalo, New York. There you go. And the second one? Just Buffalo. Just Buffalo? Yeah. I did live in France. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. How long were you there? Uh, full year. Excellent. Yeah, I do speak French. Not as well as I used to, though. Okay. So it looks like we're in the fourth end. Who got uh, points in the third? Uh, the third, uh, that would be Team Murray who got points in the third. Oh, great. Yes, they did. You missed an exciting game yesterday, Dave. Uh, Team Murray got down 8-1 to one and fought back to win 9-8. to eight. I heard about that. It was amazing. Rob, yes. Absolutely amazing. That's why. That's actually why they're here now. Yeah, because they did that. Um, I'm going to just disappear for a second, okay. and I'll be right back. I'll continue to call the game then. Jeremy Singer's first shot. Looks like Sean and Connor are on it. I don't know where Scott disappeared to. It's in the house and it's in and touching in the forefoot. Melvin Shaw's skip for Team Funkatron 1250 is calling the hit for Joe Rockenbach, also known as Tony. Rock's on its way. And he's calling him on it right away. Supers are on it hard. Just now, though? Oh, Pete and Steven are really okay. digging at it. He says they're good. Off they come. Nice takeout hit for Joe. Control. Control. Sean Murray's calling the control takeout hit. It's like Scott Eady's making his way back to the ice. Jeremy Singer. Flippity flip flam. Yep. And Sean's calling yep. him on it right away. Yep. Right away. He's calling him right on it right it. away. Connor's right really to it. Right digging to it. hard at it. Right to it. It looks to be a good hit. Okay. Yep, and he got shot all Jeremy. of it. And a nice shot for Jeremy, and that's a good takeout. Apparently my mic was off the whole time. Yeah, it's, yeah they're just now finding it out. Yes, yeah, Sean, uh, apparently we had a little bit of technical difficulty. No, we didn't have any difficulty at all, Rob. I just didn't turn the lights on. <laughs> oh, wow. So the technology is working perfectly. It's uh, operator, the operator error as usual. So. Great hat room. 
Anyways, yes, our, our <laughs> skips are uh, have been mic'd, believe it or not, Why for the entire game, but you would straight. never know it. So now you can hear them. I'm not sure that'll be uh, for better or worse, but we'll find out. Oh, yeah, man. You threw them both real good. Real good. Yeah, control. So the, uh, the Yellowstone comes into the uh, house, uh, you know, the uh, top of the forefoot to be shot, and Connor Mulvey will attempt to remove it. Is Sean skipping or is Scott skipping or what are they doing? Scott yeah. is uh, controlling the house. Uh, Sean is throwing forth. Okay. Control. Control goes down. Rock's on his way. Scott calls him on it. And off it. Roll somewhere. Ah. Shot got her. A little bit of an outside roll, and Team Murray now lying too. Sean's in a much better mood than he was yesterday at this time. <laughs> Around this time, I, I expect that he would be, uh, well, you could probably yeah, see the cool. uh, steam coming out of his ears. Yep. By, uh, <laughs> right now, <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, Someone's calling him on it right away. Steven's not happy with it. Yeah, I got to go for a piece. Looks like he's going to mess it. Yeah, if he gets a piece, he yeah, he's going to get a piece. Yeah. I don't know if he's going. To, yep, he's spinning enough oh, that oh, uh, yeah, Melon should be able get to get it out. out. Yep. All right. Well done. Well, that worked out very well. Um, could just split the house, maybe. Yep, side of the forefoot. <laughs> so Funkatron twelve fifty actually needed uh, a ninth end to uh, beat Team Ashford to make it to the finals last night. They were able to score three to tie it in the eighth with Hammer, and they actually had a draw for the win, uh, which came up there. short. Clean it for well, they had an open house. They had to hit just paint, and, and they actually they came, came, up short. they came up short. And but hit. then they, they stole in the ninth? They stole in the ninth to win. They, we had two amazing semifinal games. Connor looks to be a little uh, light. They're going to sweep at it hard, and they might get a piece. That's all we got anyway. Yep, they got it. Uh, they got it in there. That really just checked piece, up. But Sorry about that, Connor. What's that? Yeah. It really came down. Yeah, I thought I thought that line would would coast because that line's kind of straight. But. Uh. Oh, calling the hit again. The hit on the top stone. Yep. And uh, roll in front of the shot. Better. Stone. He likes the line. Steven seems yep. to like it more, too. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. This looks uh, like it's going to roll, roll a little far. bit too far and probably yeah, roll out. Twist down there. And Woo. it's going to stay. But I can't. It, that's yes. close. It's yeah, going to stay close. for a biter. Yeah. It kind of rolled back over here somewhere. Yeah. We stuck it wait, 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 wait. Do you want to come this way? Okay. Where? Here? Do we, do we want to throw normal? Make sure we get, get it. I mean, if you clunk into this, up. so what? Okay. So they're still going to come at this rock from the outside and try to get uh, a little bit on the inside to make sure that the uh, the shooter stays in the rings. I think we got some questions. Questions. A score update. Other game updates. All right. All right. All right, we can give an update. I got a sheet A update here. They're in the third end, and it is uh, two to nothing in favor of Team Bico. Team Bico over Team Meschino. On sheet C, we've got Spartacus yeah, versus really hard. Dobbs. And I got hard after guys. three ends, I got two two. Hard, 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 all the way to it. And it looks like hard, it's hard, the fourth hard. end. They're coming I home in the boys. fourth, and it looks like Team Spartacus uh, has the hammer now. The brushing yeah. Over on sheet D <laughs> with Team Ashford versus Team GA. Uh, we've got a score of 3-1. 3-1 uh, to one in favor of Team GA, uh, looks like. Team GA, right? Yes. yes. GA. So those are your score updates. Uh, the Here on uh, our sheet, uh, the... The yellow stone was removed, but I'm the shooter uh, left as well. So there's only the Ooh. one uh, stone in play here. And in that the goes really straight there. Team Murray. That's not moving. 
and this was an attempted freeze to it, but uh, it's uh, both uh, heavy and not moving. And it's going to go through the house. So once again, T. Murray will have the opportunity to split the house here. Just like side of the forefoot, I think. So we got a lot of close games going on, it looks like, Dave. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you'd hope uh, for the final games that you would get, uh, you'd get some uh, close games, and we certainly do here. Six. Six. How much? Okay, just six. Okay, it's, all right, it's curling quite a bit. All right, let it, let it, let it stop wherever it'll stop. It's going to come into the rings, but it's going to come behind the T-line. Yeah. Actually, it's going to go uh, out. That looks like there. it's going to be heavy. Yep, that's through. Absolutely, all the way through. Oh, wow. wow. Well, they miscalled that out. Wait. Unforced error there. Going it. off and see from Mr. I Eddie. think the line would have been all right, actually. So once again, uh, Funkatron okay. 1250 yeah, will at least, at least <laughs> we'll like attempt to freeze. I do, it's great. It's it is great. Yeah, yeah, they had to pull it out just a little bit. There it goes. The weight's better here, so it is going to curl and, no uh, and come no to the, uh, to the shot stone. Sit down, Rack. No, 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 no. Not bad, Pete. That's a pretty good shot for Pete. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I'd love to do that. At least, I, uh, I almost want for normal. Because if it curls up, I want to make sure it goes. Perfect. I like Wait. normal. Yep. It just stays on that center line for so long. The problem is, is I think if we come in like any more, it's going to end up. I think normal. Just, you know, in case it starts. Yeah, that, like, weight really. yeah, like, yeah, I mean, we need to be just a hair high a nose to not take our own out. But you know, in a perfect world, we hit and like sit in front of ours. But, but yeah, just in case it starts curling for some reason, keep the weight up and make sure the yellow gets out of there. No need to be cute about it. Shot, Sean. Yep. Sean's shot's on the way. He's telling him to get on it right away. Yep, hard. Hard, right, boys. Yep, this one's moving. Right to it, right to it, right to it. And there right. it goes. It's going All to right, remove well, their, the their own line. stone. Yeah, that's yep. fine. I don't, I don't mind that. It certainly did. Yeah. Even with that weight, that did come uh, yeah, that moved. curl. It's interesting. I like fresh scrape this morning. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm tight. Tight. Well, it's what's <laughs> yeah. we've noticed, though, is that if you have weight up, and that was that yeah, certainly it moves. was. It well, no, it, it hadn't hurt. been. Yeah. But that was that was um, further to the side of the cheat. Uh, one of Pete's shots. Um, coming this way, it, right, right. he had uh, his yeah. weight up a bit, and uh, it wouldn't move at all. Uh, uh, it'd be nice um, to do that. So this looks it's like it's um, no, no, no. And then it's uh, dependent on where on the sheet you, you are, normal, you whether gotta you're get going to get smaller or not. you got to get out of the house. Have you thrown many rocks this season yet, Dave? Not as yet. Um, it's, uh, I haven't played on this sheet at all boy, yet. Boy, it's, uh, it's a light, night and day difference yep. between yep. last year and yep. this year. Absolutely. Actually, I get my first real game of the year uh, later today. So. While you eat your Domino's pizza. While yeah. I eat my pizza, yes. exactly. Looking forward to that. Our Potomac League start tonight. Uh, the inaugural always is our kickoff to our season before the league start. This first game starts tonight. Hit and like roll, and it looks like he's going to roll right out. So we've got a complete out. empty house. But I think at this okay. point in time, I think... Uh, Funkatron 1250 yeah, probably just, just wants to get out of this end with a blank. With a blank, they'd be yeah. perfectly happy. Okay. I don't think they want. I think so. To have to take a point here. Sure. Yeah. Just put put it in that. Try to get him throwing down that weird line. Uh, just like side of the eight foot on the right. He's going to have a blank shot no matter what and just try to put it in that tricky line over there. See if he can get, make something happen. Same speed. Yep. Yep. 
Supers are on it right away. They just want it anywhere inside the rings. I think you got the house, guys. They're on it. Yeah, Sweeper's been on it, and Scott's come out to help. Yeah, there, take a look. It's in the house. Dave, it's in the house. It's definitely in the house. The forefoot. Remember my slide, boys. (laughs) I mean, that's a... That's a back four. I don't know why they swooped as much as they did, but whatever. Yeah, they were uh, worried about it, but that's fine. Like a little said, sweat coming from those for the front end also, there. Well, that's good. They, yeah. they, both, uh, they both could use it. They could use it. Could use it. <laughs> you know, especially that Mulvey character. He looks yeah, really yeah, yeah. out of shape. So. Yeah, and it looks like Con- uh, Connor's wife here is laughing. And yeah, she's, Tanya's laughing But she's laughing shaking at her head in agreement. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, sure. you, know. you know. Actually, I blame Tanya. She's, uh, she should be getting him out to uh, yeah. do a little working out here. I, I would say two or three times a week. We'd yeah. probably do him some good. He gets married, and all of a sudden he puts on all this weight. It's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. What's that? Oh, there you go. So we actually, had, after we uh, came back from our big trip this summer, um, we've kept at it. And yep. so we hike every weekend and wow. have been uh, you know, trying to keep up with yep. it. It was, it was just amazing. You know, you know when what you drink beer is. afterwards, though, oh, no, the, the yeah. defeats your exercise. Yes, I agree. Yeah. That's why, you know, after hiking, I have not been uh, oh, that's drinking good. a lot of That's beer. good. Uh, Hasn't been the, <laughs> uh, the drink of choice. So. Well, good, good. Yeah. I spent the summer grilling and drinking yeah. a lot, grilling unfortunately. Grilling and drinking? Yes. Right. Unfortunately, unfortunately like my plan to, to lose some weight over this summer failed miserably. There you go. But I had a good time. No. That's what matters, right? I, I think maybe and I'm enjoying my uh, Bloody Mary uh, this fine this Excellent. fine morning. No, Monique and I went um, uh, with a friend of ours, Kelly, so went to uh, uh, several national parks out uh, west for. Well, I'm glad you went when weeks. you did because they're closed now. Yeah, they're closed now. Yeah. Uh, we went for three and a half weeks oh, wow. and did a lot of uh, hiking, what? camping, Good and all for that. You. So. Uh, came back feeling just tremendous, and um, like you know, have uh, kept, like I said, kept up with it uh, since we got back. Good for you. And, uh, it's uh, really become uh, part of the routine now, which is great. It's good to have you back at the club this year. You didn't get to well, curl ball out last year, and it was no, disappointing not to see you. So we had a blank the last end, obviously, and uh, we're now beginning the uh, fifth end with a score. Uh, Team Murray, three. Funkatron, yeah! 1251. I can, Holy Jesus. Uh, <laughs> can't give you any updates yeah, yet go. on any of the other sheets because they haven't yeah, finished the fourth end, yeah, although yeah, it looks like the they're, I think he has they're starting all about to, to move them. But uh, no, our, our game is definitely moving quicker than yes, the other three. Yes, absolutely. So we'll give you the updates when oh, we can. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But uh, the first stone of the end came into the house for Team Murray and was removed by uh, Funkatron. You smile every time you say that. Every time I say it, that's great. That's a little more. Yep. Just clean for now. Oh, I've seen a couple of people mention uh, or uh, chat in our little uh, chat box over here. I want to say hello to uh, both uh, Liz Mattery and Allison Pyatt, who... uh, well, I, s- I saw Got Allison recently, rice. actually, at uh, yeah. my last um, yeah. summer event that uh, I curled in. But uh, wasn't Allison seen supposed to play this this event? If I'm, I'm not mistaken. sure. I think she was supposed to be part of Team Bico. Okay. If I remember correctly, uh, I sure. believe that's her. Right. I believe she came down with an illness or something. Oh dear. Um, but I also want to say ho- uh, right. hi to okay. someone I haven't seen good. in quite a while, Liz Mattery, who. Uh, well, had you been here last uh, night, yeah. Dave, you'd well, have seen her. Well, I, I understand that, that, that she was that here, didn't but have a lot uh, of hand I'm very much looking forward to seeing grab. Liz. We, uh, it's been far too long. So. She's more of a night owl right than up. I am. I couldn't stay up all night, so <laughs> I had to call it a night. <laughs> right. Jeff. So Jeremy Singer put a guard up with his second shot, and uh, okay. control. Yeah, probably roll right as under. though uh, roll Team Funkatron center. 1250 uh, did the same. They put a corner guard up. Right. So now Connor Mulvey's delivering his first stone of this fifth end. He seems to think so. And uh, it That's looks as though Sean Murray's, well, Scott Eady is calling. Uh, yep. Calling for a takeout? Calling for the takeout. Probably a good Just solid control. Move. The different way at it as well, which is interesting. Yeah. And they are on it right away. Sean and Jeremy are swooping that hard. Oh, it's got to move. It's going to get a roll. Yeah, looks okay. 
You're going to roll into the house? Sit roll in the, the house, foot. and uh, That's fine. they're uh, moving it as far to the side as possible. It's going to stay in the 12 foot. Yep. Nice shot. Good throw. I think the ice was a guess. That was, that was, yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. We had the whole house to roll through, so it's fine. Huh? I'm throwing last rocks. Scott skipping and throwing third. Great only. Over and out. Okay. Okay, the uh, the draw attempt comes up very right, late. Hard side. Uh, oh, hard, hard. Here tap for, that one, uh, for Melvin. This and uh, it only uh, yeah. You like? You got He's like playing the draw behind those two guards. He, he was attempting the draw and it came up very late. Right, and it looks as though uh, Scott's calling the draw behind what is now two yeah, guards. Yeah. Right. It's a very good call. Okay. Rock's on the way from Connor. Under it. Okay. Let's we'll see what we can do with it. Sean says he thinks there's something underneath it. You can hear there's something underneath it. Yeah, there's something. Definitely not right for that. That's not there. Yeah, it's going to come up light. Yeah. Yeah, he, he said there was something underneath it when he was throwing. Yeah. All right, well, that side of the house is clearly guarded up. Right? Now the attempted hit and sure roll exactly behind all that cover. Yep, absolutely. They execute this nicely. It'll be very difficult to remove. Take, um, What's I'm doing? Oh. Bit of a wobble there on, easy, the, uh, easy. on, the, on the slide. But I'm not one to talk about that. Uh, no. Right, so yes. uh, it looks like Zoe's almost going to get no, this looks just good. the inside of it. He's going to get the roll, and he is right yeah, behind that cover. Very nice that problem. worked out very nice for Steve. Was, was Steven right. Enixon? Yes. It's like yes. Steven Enixon. Uh, Nice shot. R run this one? Or that yeah, one? that was good. Didn't I don't like that one. You want to run this one? Yeah, she, she was supposed to play that team bike. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. If we miss it, he's just burying. Try to pull right. it together, but like yeah, when you shove it, it goes okay. Well, well, thanks for following along. Well, 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 I hope, uh, hope you're feeling better. That's uh, a normal? shame that you couldn't join us. Okay. I mean, nose, you're actually close to rolling right under everything. Okay, so nose are a little bit low. We can give you, a, give you some earlier. score updates here in a few, but the others are still haven't finished the fourth end. Well, they have on D for it, fortunately. Yes, there. but I don't, I don't know what happened. Doesn't look as though anybody's hung a score yet. Well, I can tell you that uh, that uh, Team Ashford scored. I can't tell you how many. Is they through first? Wow! Ah! Here's the attempted uh, run back here. Yeah, it's, it's going to roll away. I'm just concerned we're hitting this one too. Okay. Right, well, it opens it up. Right. I think we're going to actually do this shot, which is kind of ridiculous. It's uh, slow. It's going to be slow. Yes, sir. So what's the shot here that Melvin's calling? Again, uh, the draw. Uh, the uh, draw behind cover. That's good. So way, way on the outside Just to, to come around here. So. Yeah. Just over and up. No, it looks like they're nope, just the guard. guard so. Just over and up. That's good. And it's there. Well, right off. Yep. And it's a very good guard. Very good guard. Not bad. Yeah, I think Melvin would be very happy with that. You want to try it? Well, my... I don't mind it, but my only concern is if you graze this, 
Might go in the house. <clears throat> do that too. All right, well, so I got an update on sheet C. It looks as though oh, shooters, spin it up. Team Spartacus took two in the fourth and now have a I don't really know what else to do. four to two lead. Draw. You're Bring not it. having an update. Uh, and that's Spartacus over Dobbs in the B oh. event final. Four what to two. What are you F4. talking about? Like here? Or I do not have an update for D as they've not hung okay. the score yet. And sheet A, which is the third event okay. finals between Bico and Meschino. Okay. Uh, they're <laughs> still behind here a little bit, and it looks as though um, <laughs> yeah, I, I believe they're about it. to throw skips rocks, and I believe Team Bico could be could be sitting shot rock. Yep, yep. Yeah, it appears they are. Um, however, Team Moschino has three in the house, so they whoa, have whoa. a potential to get a bunch here. One of the shot rock is behind cover. I just I don't like that. That's such a hard shot. I can't really see that thing. And they well, attempted to the take, take out, it out the uh, missed it. Yellowstone, and uh, um, all they they, they took it. Yeah. But uh, now it is shot stone back half four buried. foot, and, and, and there is a red buried. guard in front of yeah. it. Well, they have the run back option, no, no, but I believe no. Melvin Shaw is calling for a draw behind the guard. Yes, half bury it, and then mm -hmm. uh, you, right. they won't be able to use the uh, red stone to uh, get to the That's a great call by Melvin. I thought you were close, but I was like, okay, I gotta get by the guard. Doesn't do any good directing the guard. Isn't it? Yeah. Right there. Line's good. Yep. Yep. Hard. Sweeping at it hard. Well, they're trying to get. Uh, it's coming back, and it. Trying to get around the close. Ah, uh, they just got a little. Ticket. Just ticket. But it is in the house. They are they sitting now too. Just, uh, it's, the it's run back is definitely eye. there. Oh, right. uh, the they yeah, don't want to throw too crazy of a weight at it because they do need it to throw back. It's not going to do anything. Uh, I, I, kind of, I like a little less than that even. Yeah, right there. And uh, if it hangs, we can always go over the top of it too. It looks as though Team Bykowski on sheet A there. Bykow has hammer in the fourth, and he is a draw for one against four. Four or five. I'm not sure if the yeah, one at the top is possibly a five, yeah. and he really just needs to touch the four foot. Uh, just normal. Tiniest little smidgen high. Not the easiest thing to do when you're facing four or five. Top if you're gonna be a skip, Dave, you've got to have the draw to your four, four foot in your back, in the back pocket. pocket. I know. No! No! We'll see if David does today. Murray oh. shots on the way. Oh. He is oh. saying no. Yeah, yeah. no good. And Hard. Hard. God. Oh, and he just missed the double. Yeah. No, they should have been on that a uh, little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Center. He <laughs> missed it by just, <laughs> just a tiny bit. Yeah. Too. So, so Shotstone remains the, the uh, yellow stone back four. Does. Like, oh, now there are two red stones in front of it. <laughs> Can we miss it by Murray has one so. rock no. remaining, I believe, in this, uh, in this I know. event. Oh. All right, uh, David's draw is on the way. The sweepers have been on it the whole way. And now uh, Brian Darnan is coming to help. This actually looks pretty good, though. I think they're going to get it there. See, Dave, you have to have the draw to the forefoot in your back pocket, and it looks as though Bykowski. Yep. Yeah, even if we go all the way in the back. I don't know. I don't know. He did not get it. He's going to draw out to the side. Yeah, back of the house. Is looks as though they might. They're going to measure. It looks like they might measure. At least two. I think they're saying two. Nope. They're saying okay. two. No, we're back 12. <laughs> I'm what? Pretty One red? No, no two. Two. Going two red. Two red. So that makes the score Team Moschino three, Team Bykowski two. After four. After four, Team Moschino stole two there in the fourth to take a one-point lead. I still don't have an update for Sheet D. 
uh, between uh, Team GA and, uh, and, Ashford. and they, Team Ashford. They never did. They never. The score. They don't want to hang the score, so right. I, I don't know. They're keep, keeping us in the dark. Here. Yep. Uh, Meanwhile, over here on our feature sheet, I think uh, Melvin is attempting to just draw to the side and lie two. And the sweepers have not made a brush to this one. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Uh, he's not and happy with uh, that. Melvin is not pleased. With, uh, <laughs> not happy at all. Right now, uh, <laughs> I believe... I believe we need a delay for him, Dave. I believe we need a delay. Yeah. Uh, the, the problem with the delay, Rob, is uh, that the viewers like would not get the full flavor <laughs> yes, I of agree. what goes on out in the sheet. Which they is know what we're when they to turn into a Potomac curling yeah, broadcast that like everything is on That's the table. That's right. It is not a PG. Really it is not uh, PG. It is definitely R. So, it please, looks as please, though Team uh, Murray is just playing the run back. Please keep your young children away from our broadcast whenever we're on. Because yes. you just never know. Or turn the volume down. Murray shots on the way. Sweepers are on it right away. And he's yelling hard. And it might be too inside. I think it's inside. Right to it. Oh, he got it perfectly. That's why they pay him the big bucks, Dave. That is why they pay him the big bucks. It's wide open for the hit for another blank. Make sure we get it. But that's why they pay. That's why they pay him the big bucks. Yeah, I know. Well, well, that's the thing. We don't well, want to come off and have a move that we've been. Whisker it again. So uh, Melvin will now uh, attempt to remove the shot stone and roll away and uh, blank the uh, the fifth end and retain him. So we want to keep a low scoring game here in the finals, Dave. Looks that way. Yeah. I'm okay with it. As opposed to 9 8. Yes. I'm okay with that. Well, absolutely. Hopefully our viewers are too. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> they don't have any choice, so. No. This is true. Yeah, we we'll, could switch we'll, them to another game, but that's we'll, too much. We'll give work. them, you know, what they're getting, so. and they're getting it for free. They are. They cannot beat the price. Yeah, going, right, going hammer is on the way. Point. Yes, it is. Yeah. And they're calling on it right away. Melvin called them on it. Whoa! Oh. Is he gonna? No, well, he's fine. Yep. Nice shot. Perfect. All right, it makes so. It easy, after five, the score remains the same. Team Murray, three. Funkatron, 12.50, one. one. We're running out of spots for blanks. Oh. Uh, they're going to have to start doubling it up. And once again, we still have absolutely no idea what's going on at GD. <laughs> well, I do know that Ashford scored. Because, All right. You know, they, they, they scored somewhere scored between one and eight. Between one and eight, they did. Uh, and I'm going to go with they probably did not get eight. If they'd gotten eight, I think um, we would have picked up Courtney on Melvin's mic. And, yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably not eight. It is, yep. Jeremy Singers rocks on his way. Sean and Connor are sweeping hard right away. Okay, yeah, we're okay now. We're okay. They like the weight. That's pretty good. Well, maybe we are. Yeah, it's going to be in the house. Oops. A little over enthusiastic. Sorry, Jeremy. Wow. Sean, you got a little too much energy this morning. That's, that's our fault. Sorry about that. And he's going. <laughs> right out of the house. <laughs> they, they swept it right out of the house. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Yes, you did, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Way to pound it. Way to as pound it. it. turns out, you did. <laughs> I blame the sweepers there, Dave. Blame the sweepers are fully to blame. I, I, I thought it was good. Mine's nice. It's going to curl a lot, actually. Melvin's yeah. calling a guard. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we just then we can chuck it right through, yeah. That's good. Don't, uh, don't drag it too far. Nice job, Joe. 
And a high guard. Uh, that's going to come to a two guard. Yeah, that was nice corner guard. Yeah. Two guard corner guard. Yeah. Sure. All right, we got some guards in play, Dave. This might be a scoring end. You well, never uh, know. <laughs> uh, well, it looks about the same, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's used. All right, and we're never really on the guards. These guys are scoring about as much as my Buffalo Bills will probably score today. <laughs> I could have sworn you were from the next... Um, <laughs> Major city Let's to the east of Buffalo. Oh, no, Toronto? <laughs> no. Oh, right. Rochester? Yeah. What do I know about Toronto? Toronto is yeah. slightly east. <laughs> Got to go up and around the lake. I suppose. Oh, it is east. It's just northeast. Uh, Jeremy Singer, second shot was in the house, and it uh, looks as though Joe Roggenbach is going to be taking it out. Oh, I got a score update for you on Sheet D, Dave. We do? Uh, yeah, hey, we do. There it is. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right. All so right. in the fourth end, Although Team we're Rashford almost, scored one. Yes, we're almost done with the fourth end, so we might be no, quickly. No, we're done with the fourth end. Oh, yeah, I we're mean, almost we're almost done with, done with the, the fifth end. end. We might be bringing you an update real fast. Right. But so uh, making the score Team G A yeah. three. Yes, three and Team Ashford two. Pete yeah. Morello, it's a sweeping. Steven just kind of walking with it. He's he's watching it. Yep. He's watching Pete sweep. Yeah, and Pete's sweeping hard, and this is curling, and it's coming yeah, into the house, and uh, it's coming right down to the okay. T line. Good shot, it's Joe. probably be behind that. cover too. It looks as though, at least from my angle, closer. it is. But uh, what I do don't I know? Think so. No. Bump. Bump. So Connor's probably taking it out. Yep. Control weight. Yep. Rock's on its way. Nice delivery. Solid bump. This one needs to move. Needs to move. They did not move. They took their own rock out. Probably not what they anticipated. He said it was too much ice. He said it was too much ice. Not a good guard. Yeah. Want to go here or here? Looks as though people are starting to stroll into the warm room. They must have had a late night last night. Okay. It's like uh, Pittsburgh strolled in. Steven Innocent's delivering his rock, and they're calling to split the house. A little wobbly on his delivery, but all other than that looks pretty good. And Joe Peter on it hard. And Melvin's coming out to help. Yeah, it's this probably light. Like. Keep her moving. They're really digging at it. Yeah, yeah. They're, okay. they're going to get it there. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is definitely a biter. Could make a double. The roll over in front of it, too, is pretty good. It might be harder to blank this end now. Oh, I agree. Control. Control. Well, you got a possible double here, Rob. I think that's what they're trying for, actually. It needs to come back, though. Well, they're, they're going to get too much of it. No. And it comes to the center. Uh, Funkatron still has shot stone. Here on the side, uh, I'm not sure if it's biting the four. Do you think their um, team song is funk, Funky Town? I don't know. I, I'd be curious. Maybe in our post-game interview we can ask. <laughs> oh, that's right. We don't do post-game interviews. So. Why not? I don't know. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, easy guys. Close. Now you're all right. Where are we? Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, yeah. We already did that, Enrique. You know, Heather has joined us. We're uh, who's looking after okay. the uh, Not bad. the cameras, etc. And uh, thank goodness for that because uh, uh, I would. Uh, oh, well, I can't do that. I would Dave. be I would be struggling uh, to uh, keep up with. Uh, all the cameras and everything else, and he's doing a great job doing that. So, she's kind of the quiet, silent partner. There you go. She's yeah. waving. Oh, oh, oh. 
So now we have uh, <coughs> Fungatron line two. Double possibility. Okay. There, yeah, though. they're going to go for yeah, the double yeah, here. Scott's definitely going for it. <coughs> Uh, Rob Melinda is asking you to sing a few lines of Funky Town. Just no, to, uh, no, 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 it's too early in the morning. If the Bills uh, win, I'll um, come back on and live <coughs> broadcast. Rob, so. <coughs> it's one minute to noon it's in the morning. It's so still too early. It can't Dave. be too early in the morning. It's still too early. Come on, come on. This is not coming back at all. This is not coming back. Well, they got one. They're going to get one. They got the one. Funk it out. <laughs> like, oh, over here, over here. What do you think? Funk it out. I don't know the words to this. Yeah, I know. Days. It's kind of boring. We could probably bring it up on uh, <laughs> I'm sure we, you know, we Google could. for you. And uh, Google's got words. everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's basically it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much. Allison, you are nope. far too kind, by the way. Close. Yes, this line. This line. But believe me, Rob is right. The soothing voice saying Funkatron <laughs> is uh, smiling whoa, whoa, every time. And every, every time he says it, he smiles. He's like Funkatron. Funkatron. Oh, now you stop curling. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Dave. <laughs> you like the same? Okay. All right, back to the action here. Uh, looks as though Sean's calling the uh, takeout. Whoa. Scott Eady was about to throw the wrong color rock. I've never seen that. I've never seen him check his lips before. That was interesting. All right, now that we fixed that, Scott Eady now has the proper Free color pack. rock, the red rock, and it looks as though everybody on the sheet is laughing. All right, he's he's checking himself back in, and hopefully that doesn't. Get him off balance here. Scott's delivery's on the way. Whoa. He Whoa. says no. Whoa. Sean's saying no. Step. Yeah, Step. now he calls him on it. He's slow to react. Hard. Connor hard, and Jeremy boys. are digging hard. Hard, 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 hard. Right to it. Right digging to it. Hard. Right to it. And they've got it. Okay. Good. And they got just a little bit of a roll back towards the forefoot. It's a nice shot by Scott, and it's even better that he used the right color rock. 10. I've never seen you check up your swing before like that. That was, I was like, whoa, that's a good way to throw your back out. You're kind of like, oh, wait a minute, wrong color. Oh. Did you get a Bloody Mary or did you get water? Bloody Marys are good, Dave. All right. Between that and my Drambuie uh, this morning, I've had a pretty good day. God, what do we do here? We guarded, he's got a roll. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of think we should have gotten in, actually. Yeah, actually, I like that, too. It's yeah. so hard to control the line, though. Yeah. Uh, I thought that we would have. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, right here, right here's good. I thought we would have had enough. He might still have the roll, but he won't have a shot. Oh. Real shot oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. Sorry about that, folks. <coughs> Didn't really mean to I don't, I don't think the gonna be cough right into your ears, but uh, it happens from time to time. Well, yeah. so, like, so like just full. <coughs> Unfortunately, just the bar here point. has uh, plenty of remedies for, uh, for coughing fits, and I got one. Oh, we're going to. The thing is, we can't really throw a center guard because then he's got the roll. So, so what's happened while like I was gone? Uh, oh, not a whole lot. Really good. Yeah. Uh, uh, Scott Eady almost really threw the wrong rock. Okay. He was halfway end, through like, his uh, oh, pulling up yeah, of the rock off the ice, was, and then he realized he had the wrong rock. So they all stopped and laughed. And then he did make the takeout. Very good. Sean Murray has the right rock, which is the red rock. Okay. They are sitting two. The question is, what do they want to do here? And... 
right. All right, boys, here we go. Forefoot. He's saying draw to the forefoot. It's there. I think it's there. I think it's there. Sean thinks it's the weight's fine. You're not white. Yeah. Oh, I guess we might as well leave him close. Dropping on, drop already. Yeah. Just kind of let it, let it. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, yeah, that's, that's one way to touch the forefoot. Is it might be just biting the forefoot, but I think it might be just a little bit off. That. But uh, I think it's all right. I think it's three. Here, it's three. three. Three surrounding the forefoot. It's uh, a very nice place to be if you're Team Murray right now. Dave, I got two updates for you. Oh, good. The fifth end's already over on GT. Can you believe it? Of they course. just hung the fourth. Did they? Uh, it looks as though Team yeah, GA picked up uh, four points in the fifth. Yeah, yes, they did. And now they lead seven to two. Seven to two. Seven to I think it might be seven. Seven to two. I think seven to two. Over Team Ashford. Uh, they're in the sixth now. And I have uh, an update on sheet C. It looks as though Team Spartacus stole one in the fifth to make the score five to two over Team Dobbs. Uh, Still playing the fifth end. Still playing the fifth end in the third event with Biko and Mesquino. It looks as though Biko is. Sitting two, but Mosquito's playing a double takeout. Uh, he gets one and spills. Looks as though Biko is sitting one, possibly, uh, with a wide open house. Uh, maybe getting a draw for looking at it. Trying to figure it out. I mean, Biko has the hammer, so he always has the hit, hit for two. If we can get there, I don't know. In that end. We've lost the cameras. Um, our yeah, lights have not gone off. We, uh, we're working on that. that. I'm cool with that. Right. I, I think I'm liking yeah. I'm warming up to the idea. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's just up to us, Rob. Yes. We're have to, well, uh, well, tell people what's and going Melvin on. and Pete are just sitting there talking about what to do. And they're, they're, they're trying to figure out exactly how they get out of this end with some points. You know, with the team Murray sitting three. The blank seems highly unlikely for the third. I, I'm yeah. pretty sure you're okay. you're going to see some yeah. scoring here one way or the other. It's possible. Cameras are back. Well, that's good, Dave. Good. On the upside. Well, well, so am I. I'm the same way. Like my, my well, I had nothing to do with it, Rob. So. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't either. I like this one. So they're trying to decide exactly really what they're going to do. I believe, Dave, that there could be a double possibility there. But I don't know what that does for them because it would leave it wide open. No, I think they're uh, they're attempting to use the uh, Marie Stones as some some amount of protection. They they hit one and, and roll, roll behind, behind or beside yes. or I think we something and set up the next shot. We're gonna we're gonna hit the rock that we see. Yeah, I know. Right? Hey, Bikowski just let off a big sigh. It looks as though he uh, <laughs> did get the two. He did make the take. And the after five, it looks as though Team Biko will now have a four um, to yeah. three lead yeah. over Team Mosquino. Nine three at the most. Or nine five at the most. I don't think he can get over. He's gonna be wide open. So three of our sheets are through five. He's gonna be covered. What? Well, actually, all of them are, all of them are now. through five, but uh, our feature sheet is, is yep. essentially about ten stones ahead of everybody else or more. <coughs> Sweepers are really on this Yeah, Pete's, Pete Whoa. is calling them on it. Whoa. Oh! Well. <laughs> no, I can't. They almost <laughs> got the double, Dave, they like I told there. you. <laughs> like I told you that was there. That was cool. Melvin though. and like, Peter oh, laughing. Like, uh, it was there. I believe Sean's just going to play the hit to it and force them to take one. Bumper? To try to take one. Yes. And, and they're still going to be in. Uh, it's going to be tough. If, Especially if, if a nose hit there is going to be a tough one. It's going to be really good. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Sit right there. Yeah, I, I like the nose hit. I think that's a good call. Yeah, we had kind of nothing. Yeah, I just like bumper. I, I, I thought he was too. I, I, he, he didn't mean to hit it the way he did. He really didn't. 
Hey, Scott, Scott, do you like this instead? I see the whole thing. Yeah. All right, Sean's playing the hit. Just a nose hit. Get the nose hit, it rolls to the right, side. It rolls uh, behind cover, is what it does. <laughs> Team Murray is uh, line three. And uh, with Hammer to come, uh, Melvin wow. will decide whether to draw or, or hit. to hit. Uh, it actually rolled really nice behind I'm cover. I'm pretty sure they would have liked to. No, I think he would have preferred the, 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 nice, the nose hit, but as far as a roll, that turned out really nice. Yeah. draw to the button. Oh, he's got a draw any ideas? What do you think? Looks like it's keen. Yeah. Got a little more keen. Okay. That's got to go Not four six. positive though so hammers on the way sweepers have been now they're on, on it hard and they bit. might they, they might they be too light yeah bit. they needed to sweep that a lot lot earlier dave oh this is going to be unfortunate holy jeez oh ooh, okay. that is unfortunate it looks as though Three. team murray just short. stole 3 well, i looked really good until right about here that's unfortunate sweepers needed to be on that the entire way well, well it seemed like uh, all three of them coming down the sheet were happy with yeah. it and uh, put on the brakes. Um, like Melvin said, and it was Mike there uh, just before the hog line. And, uh, so um, T. Murray will steal three in the sixth end. Yeah, it wasn't that big. And uh, they will uh, break this game open a little bit. They're uh, now leading 6-1 after six ends. Oh, okay, that's right. I, agree, man. I thought it was pretty close. Same thing. Yeah. You're going to be a pro at this by the time we're done. I, yeah, yeah. The guard is not much good here. Yes. Yeah, we had to be pretty concerned about that. Six. It's curled a lot. He doesn't. Oh, we're fine. Dave, I think that's got a lot of weight. Nice weight, Jeremy. Well, they're just trying to uh, yeah. come in the house. They don't need guards now at this point with a five-point. Yeah, that's, that's, that's back 12. Oh, back eight. Yep. Touching the back 12. And at this point, Definitely. they've got to ignore it. They need Teams guards. Funkatron right. needs guards. They have More to completely guards, ignore it. After six ends with six, a uh, five-point lead, they need junk in the front so that they can draw around it. <laughs> Duck and cover. They got to get a couple here, obviously. They really need three or four. Three would be nice here. <laughs> Line's good. Three gives them a chance coming home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a slanderous lie. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> nice shot, Joe. Mr. Joe Rockenbach puts a nice corner guard up there. Yeah. That's a really nice yeah. corner guard. Nice you, you had good weight. Very nice shot. Yeah. Uh, I got a little less on the clock. Yeah, but it must be a lie. A slanderous lie. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're seven by itself. Uh, it's still, yeah, it's kind of a knuckleball. It's going to wind up 
more or less where you wanted it. And Jeremy Singer is drawing that thing right, right the to pretty much the button. Yeah. Right yep. shot. Yeah. I give it a four. Okay. Could have covered the pin a little bit better, but you know, all, you know. Thing, all things considered, I call pretty good. Just, just see a little white around the hole. <laughs> yeah, you know. Rock, that would have been better. But yeah, and I, you know. Oh, look at that lineup. Look at, look at that lineup over there. One, two, three. Mine's good. <laughs> pretty tough to get rid of any of them. <laughs> That's like Sean marveling at what's going on in sheet C. D or D or C? Yeah. Nice no, I think he's talking about C. There ain't D. a whole lot. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. The, the, the three uh, yellow stones three together. Yellow. Tough to get rid yep. of any of them, that's true. Yeah. Yep. All right, another corner guard by uh, Joe Rockenbach. Uh, two very nice rocks. Scott there, Eady's basically saying get rid of them. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Calls him on it. And they want to spill. They don't want that lying around. And there it goes. Oh. There goes their rock. That is exactly what they wanted oh, good to Good throw, do. Connor. Connor's happy with it. Sean seems to be happy with it. That was really close. Nice throw. Yeah, they you almost got the door there. Nice yep. shot. Yeah, it would have been perfect if you would have just kicked it over to the side and spun the shooter right out the back. It would have been perfect. Right. Or, or it could have stuck and spin into the house, too. You know? That would have been Melvin fine. calls a guard again. That's good. Yeah. Yes, it will. You say three or like T? All of our jobs hit oh. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing he'll call guards for the first four stones, and then he's going to have to deal with... Uh, Either uh, going around uh, their guard first or dealing with what's Well, that uh, one is in. not a guard. It no, is, is right to the guard. T line. Uh, full, full eight foot. Yep. Uh, I got to believe Connor's going to just. Same, same weight. They're going to get a, and they're get gonna, the, uh, They're going to hit the guard again. Yep. A little less. Uh oh, air balling it. We're sitting, two, we're sitting two. All right. Well, uh, as far as error goes, that's, uh, that's a decent worth. one. Uh, missed, the, missed the shot. Hit their own rock out, but did get a roll and are now sitting one, two. And one more guard. Connor doesn't look very happy about that one, but no. in the grand scheme yeah, of things, kinda, he, he, wasn't he the worst thing uh -oh. in the world. Yeah. Indeed. There's a double there. Uh, no, they're calling for another guard. No. Well, yeah, but the, the double is there for bit. Funkatron. You got to wait on it. We're at five. Couldn't come into the rings. Uh, okay. It's going to be the fourth rock yeah. counting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to make sure we don't stick on this. You should go under it. No, I, I like the intern. I like the end. Yeah. He likes it. What are you throwing, normal? Okay. It's a good thing about having Sean on mic. He's always very vocal out there yeah. and communicates well. And so. Is that um, good? Is that good? Uh, it's <laughs> critical. Thanks, Molly. And um, it might not be good for the listener stuff sometimes. No, I think it is. I, I you know, he uh, tells you exactly what he's thinking and what's uh, the <laughs> that reason for That may or may not be. That would not have been good well, last night. Well, may not have been good last night. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's put it this way. When they won, when they won, Sean laid down on the ice. He couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yes. When when Sean is down seven in a game, that's probably a good time to turn his mic off. But uh, uh, something like this, uh, you know, he. Uh, he communicates well with his team for the yeah. most part and uh, gives He's you... He's been very positive to his team, too. Yes. Um, yep! Yep! He's calling him on it right away. Hard! And he is screaming at him. Hard, boys! Hard! 
Hard. Maybe, maybe so. Ah, not quite. Boom. That's all right. All right, they got one. It's fine. And now they sit rocks one, two, and four. I think at this point, uh, Melvin's going to have to... Uh, no, he's going to stay patient. He's going to try one more guard with uh, Pete Morell. It's his first stone. I thought at this point he oh. might try to freeze to the shot stone or, you know, um, start to, uh, you know, maybe maybe tap it back a little bit behind the T-line. That is yeah, But, uh, no, he's uh, being patient. He's uh, still going to throw the... The guard here on yep. uh, his. Uh, Melvin knows he has stone. to. He has to score more than a point here. It's not an option for him anymore. They Absolutely. have to take some points. Absolutely. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yes. Right away, he's not happy with it, it looks like. Clean, 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 yep, 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 yep. Nope. yep. That's a nice shot. Great shot, great shot by Scott. Great shot by Scott. Wow. And out it goes. All right, now Funkatron's in a world of hurt. So I got an update for you on Sheet C. It looks as though Team Dobbs took one. That makes oh. the score... Uh, well, you didn't put any more energy in that. Believe five to three it's after not, six. It's really slow. <laughs> yep, five to three. Team Spartacus over uh, Team I, Dobbs. And you did not. After six. Yeah. We do not have a score yeah, update, yeah. although uh, it, it looks as though bit, the like, oh, much? sixth end out. also completed on sheet D between like uh, Ashford and G A. Um, but I don't have a score update yet. And but the way they hang scores, it could be the eighth end before I could tell you that. Right. But it was Ashford did score. Though. Yes, did. Ashford did score. Yep. Uh, Pete's second rock is on its way. Hard. And they're calling the takeout. Melvin's having him on it right away. Hard. It's going to get by the guard. Oh. Ooh. It got by the guard, yep. Just really like I said it would. And, oh, and you know, nice that shot, uh, becomes the second rock. And uh, it's probably open. I should have, I should have at least half of it. I probably have almost all of it, actually. Uh, the third event between Baiko and Mestino is still going shot. on in the sixth end. Um, Control? Yeah. I, I believe they're down to the second set of skips rocks. I can see all that thing, I think. Uh, right now, it looks as though sure Team Baiko might be laying. Uh, they're that. laying two, possibly okay. three. Yeah, I got, I got just all. Uh, but... Team Moschino yeah, does have the hammer and the yeah, it's, it's a wide right, open draw. And there's nothing Baiko could do about that. Control. So I think he might have to draw uh, behind some of his stuff that he's got up top there. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Tron's not happy with that. Oh. No, he got that one outside, and it's not going to come back enough now with no. that weight. Ah, sorry, that's guys. That's totally my fault. Uh, so it looks as though Funkatron will have a hit for two. No, they're oh, no, they got two racks. They got two racks still play. Yet, so. All right. So they got to find a way to get three out of this, Dave. Uh, Probably end up sitting. Huh? No, no, it, it, it was heavy. Depending on how much weight he throws. You gotta find a way to get two points there. They're looking at uh, which way they want to uh, their their rock to roll after they make the hit. Whether they want to make the attempt the double. If they make the the double, though, it may be uh, difficult to keep the shooter around. You could just throw a perfect. We could just throw a perfect. 
<laughs> shook the whole board with that Jeff one. Jeff buried here, <laughs> he flicks it, nice maybe jams on this Jesus. one. Right? You know, like over here. So it looks as though Ashford took two in the maybe sixth, it, making the score GA seven, Ashford so four after six. Team Ashford down okay, three so without uh, hammer in the this. seventh. Do we need to take this now? Can we get enough uh, to move this under the guard? I think we need to. I think we need to do this now because you just throw the guard on it. We got nothing. Yeah. Yeah, we got we gotta get as much roll as we can, right? We can't just stay there. Huh? Should we just tap it there? So Dave, what leagues are you playing this year other than Pizza League? Maybe I do like your shot. I think I like your shot. Playing uh, Thursdays as well, and uh, I'll make appearances along the way on Monday and Wednesday. Okay, good. On this corner. Yep. Yeah. Just looking forward to uh, having the uh, the uh, TNCC club playdowns here uh, in December. Did you find a team for that? Yeah, I had to uh, set that up uh, at the end of last year. Who so you playing with? Freezing the one on the pin, slightly uh, offset. I've been playing with uh, Chad Shulkin so that, uh, okay. as lead, Brandon Karai as the second, yeah. and uh, the double, stops it. Connor is going He's to throw uh, forth for the team. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. Will you That's skip good. and throw vice? Yes. Okay. What do we think of it? On this is that a week day? long in December? Okay. It's uh, four days. Okay. And uh, like I said, really looking forward to it. I missed it last year. And uh, it's. Uh, Play what, a couple games a day? Yeah, usually. It depends, uh, again, on the you know number of teams that show and then they figure out the format from there. But in general, it's uh, yeah. two games right, a day. And, this uh, line! Yeah, we'll see what happens. Melvin's shot's on the way, and they are pounding the heck out of it. It's coming in, but it's to just going to be too uh, light. Short on the wrong side of it, but not bad yeah. otherwise. So Melvin Shaw right. and well, Team I, Funkatron I are less. sitting rocks Obviously, two and like four. I just, just got to throw up better. With Murray sitting one and three, yeah. Sean's yeah, we have final rock final. coming Even up. Even if we kind of yeah, roll kind of next to ours, it's not bad, isn't it? Basically, Still it's not waiting for an update on sheet A. It uh, looks like uh, they are on the hammer. This is hammer, yep. Uh, for Team Mes Mesquino. Assuming you fix this. Yeah, I just got to throw up better. And I believe they are just playing a draw two, for one. I well, yeah, I, I need. And sweepers were on it immediately. Yeah, yeah, it looks we, we as though right Team Bykowski is sitting two, possibly control, three, but yeah. I mean, from this that, angle, it's hard to tell. And that control. looks to be yeah. light. Yeah. Skip doesn't okay. like yeah, it. I, just, I, just gotta I don't know if it's right. going to come in, and it's not. Uh, the question is how many. He leaves us a catcher. And, uh, uh, like by the uh, it's at least two. We'll see if it's three. The two, like the one in the middle goes over the top. This one goes. And if you have a catcher, they're going to measure, gonna for, measure the for three. Point. Oh, come on, man. You're not kidding they're me, are measure you? measure for three. Really? Well, it looks as though Sean really? just Jesus. missed a takeout. Right in between right, both of them. What am I doing there? The question is... Can what Team Funkatron find a way to get three out of this? I set it out. So oh we sneak God. by. We got to move that to here and be able to. That's cut crazy. Off. It was just I'll released. It. I think go big or go home at this point for Funkatron, yeah. right? They need three. Oh boy, oh boy. Fantastic. Three would. Uh, I mean, I don't think we when you're down five, you know. <laughs> three is great, and you know, you you would certainly want it, but uh, well, this I mean, looks to me like to be a, a pretty tough. Um, call for getting three points. Uh, I'm, uh, but they I only have one end left, Dave. Like Do you want to go down so three or down four? Or yeah, down three or down two? Well, obviously yeah. two, but like I said, this uh, the way that the rocks are set up, what? it's, yeah. uh, I, I it's don't tough to um, get rid of 
sh stones yeah. one and three and, and stick, stick around, around. to uh, to keep your third point, especially with the way we gotta, we gotta where his one. first stone ended up in front of the yeah. shot stone. He it's can't just run it back. No. We're talking like bumper weight. So uh, I think what he's trying to do is find out the best way really to get two points as opposed to three. And he needs to remove the <laughs> the, 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 uh, the shot stone, obviously. Yeah, ab yeah, absolutely. But he also needs to outcount the uh, third rock. The third stone. It ha his Bumper away. we got to be as close to that seven as we can. We might be able to move move the, yeah, we push the one on the bumper you know, back the other one out. So he is trying for the three. He's trying for it. No, you can't get two, Melvin. You can't get two. Well, you can get two if he, if he, oh, if he moves the two red stones without... No, 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 no. Um, Melvin, he said, he said right. Sean could, would get one right, or right, two. Right. Oh. And I, I don't think it's possible for Sean Murray to get two at this point unless something disastrous happens. Rock's on its way. Whoa! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they're screaming. Yeah, they're, ah! no, they're, no, they're, no, they're, they're screaming. Oh, whoa! 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 Ah. And they only get a point. One. They're going to get one. That was a lot of yelling for one fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Melvin, it was a lot of yelling for one point. Well, Fuckatron will take their one in the seventh. Uh, it looks as though Team Baikowski did end up getting the three. They did. They now lead seven to three after six. Uh, yeah, he did. Team Baikowski leaves Team Moschino, Moschino, sorry, seven to three after six. Right, this two is fine. And here on our sheet, uh, it is six two. Sorry about my two. Six two after seven. So, you know. Well, this is going to be an interesting end, Dave. The steal of four is very tough. I, I, don't I don't like I the odds. Don't right no. Fun, Sorry, I have to say this for Allison. I don't like the odds for Funkatron. Yeah. For Funk just, well, yes. it, was, it was just a little bit of a Funk set on the release, and my out turns don't curl anyways. So, so I, like, I got to be soft with them. I got to be soft. They need a guard. The There's no question about it. It has <laughs> to be a guard. <laughs> yeah. If it's anything <laughs> else, they, they, might as, they might as well come yeah. in and start... Uh, Indulging in sense of beverages. You can leave it long if you want. Right here is good. No, you're, you, you are throwing board weight. over and up. Over and up. <laughs> Sean is telling Jeremy you are throwing board we'll weight. Yeah, they're going to try the take shot. Good I don't believe Sean wants to sweep this one at all. <laughs> Just through? Okay. They're not going to try the take shot, apparently. If Jeremy sh throws this light, Sean's going to go postal. Yeah! And Jeremy gave it a nice little shove to make sure that it's getting down the ice. Yep. And it's exactly where they want it, out of play. Good. All right, Joe Rockenbach, second rock is going to be on the way shortly. And once again, I believe David has to be a guard. Has well, to be a guard. I don't think that's why he was trying. With Tighter to the rings this time, obviously. Slightly, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Definitely a guard. He got by as tight as he could with as light a way as he could, and it still he's stuck. He's good. I mean, he can make the double over the top of it, and the shooter's wrong way. He's getting two anyway. Uh oh. Oh no. It'll get over. <laughs> uh -oh. Barely get that's over. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> and as Melvin said, that's gonna be a problem. Well, they have two guards, Dave. They have their two guards. They are on the center line. How about that? I think they're about six feet higher than where they want them to be. One of them, anyway. <laughs> sure sounds like there's something under that rock again, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, Jeremy Singer about four for four there. Actually, he doesn't get any. So no. In the way they're scoring when you... Uh, Throw a, a rock through on purpose. Well, uh, that's uh, but there's wait, no wait, 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 wait to beat a man while he's down there. Well, no, it's uh, it's zero of zero. Like zero they, of zero. They don't make it zero of four, so it just doesn't count. I give him an E for effort. Yeah, I thought it was great. Very well done. Perfectly executed. Uh, through uh, rock through the head. Well, he's putting on a sweatshirt too. He doesn't think he's gonna be sweeping a whole lot. I guess. And he almost fell. <laughs> he must almost fell. 
What's the temperature like the ambient light? Uh, I haven't is checked it, it this or? morning, but it is. Uh, so it's actually warmer, but it feels colder because it's drier. I'll take it back. Because it's, it's drier. drier. Yes. Sure. I got it. I got it. So I believe the ambient oh, temperature is yeah. somewhere in the like upper 40s. Those guards. Um, but it feels a lot colder because, I mean, we went from 90% humidity consistently to 40. To 40. To 40. It's like a big half, right? It's a big, uh, big change. It was one of my proudest uh, moments here in the club is getting that new dehumidifier. I fought hard for that, and it was. I'm very pleased with the results so far. So you're to blame, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. You can thank me later. Uh, once I get my concrete floor, I'll thank you. Give me a hundred thousand dollars, and I will make that happen. Okay. I will be glad to give you a concrete floor. I just ask for a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars. That's all I need. <laughs> so anybody out there, if we have any big donors listening and want to want to make a very good charitable contribution, we could use about a hundred thousand dollars to put in a concrete yeah, floor. You didn't miss it by much. Yeah, we could also use a new IMAX. So I a hundred and two thousand dollars would be great. I'll tell you what. Even I think I can make the concrete floor work for ninety-eight if they all they can give is a hundred. Well, well, they don't have one in the house yet. All right, so they are calling. Uh, line's good. What well, looks to be a draw. It should be. Again, it looks like it's coming up light though. They might get it to the rings. No, they will. Yeah, it'll be wide open though. Okay. Well, no, okay. Well, Wide open. So they're running out of rocks now because they only have uh, four left. And they've got to get four counting. Uh, so uh, you got to believe Connor's going to take this out, and that should almost almost do it. Well, I think it's almost done now. Well, yeah, I, I think, it, yes, obviously. Normal. Normal. Supers are on it, and they got oh. it, and they got a roll okay, behind roll. the guard. <laughs> beautiful roll. Oh, that's about as perfect as perfect can get. You bet. So the other games are still in the seventh end, um, so I can't provide any updates. It looks as though... Uh, sheet D is, is nearing the completion of the uh, seventh end, and it looks as though Sheet yep, C is line. probably also nearing the end of the seventh end. Um. All right, that'll do it. Do curling. Oh, yeah. All right, Melvin is uh, conceding, okay, nice game, man. Okay, and it looks as though this game is over. We're going to have uh, a concession and a final score of Team Murray. Uh, six and team Funkatron. 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 Twelve fifty two. Uh it's a great final. You know, it was a really good final. Uh you know, uh, Team Murray obviously was probably the odds on favor going into this entire tournament. And uh, uh you you wouldn't have said that after four ends last night. No, I would not have said that after four ends last night. But they uh you know he had a really good close game there. Yep. And then, you know, we just really the, 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 the fifth wow. and the sixth end is what what was the killer. You know, the sixth end blowed it open. And, yeah. and uh, there we are. So, yeah. Thanks, man. We would have been in good Finish shape. Finish up. Closer game out. I was happy to make that shot, even if it didn't work. Like, that was a fucking tough shot. Mm. Sure. Uh, we can switch to another sheet. Like, Absolutely. I don't know how we do well, that, but uh, by all means, yeah. she can do Great. that. Well, we let's pick the, uh, the game that's closest. Yeah. And I assume yeah. that's going to be Sheet C, right? Sheet C, yeah. We're going to move to the... So we just got some ice environment yeah, updates. Oh, we got a nice temperature of 24 degrees. We've got a nice shed temperature of 42 degrees. We got a humidity of 42 to 42 percent. Beautiful. Can you believe that, Dave? A year ago, if you'd have said 42 percent humidity in this room, what would you have laughed and probably crazy? Yeah. <laughs> And I thank our ice master, Ken Ray, for that uh, that update. Yes, Ken's, Ken's doing a phenomenal job yes, with all of us. 
Yeah. Uh, we're going to switch to yeah, sheet C, uh, which is well, the B event final. Actually there at all. Uh, yeah. Between uh, Spartacus and Team Dogs. Spartacus yeah, version yeah. three or four? Version eight point eight, 8. five two three. So I don't know. They change members yeah. every year, and they still keep the same name. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we thought. Uh, maybe it was Kyle Buckle's shot on the, the way, and he is. Uh, he's got his arms up in the air. He's not yeah, happy no, about something. That was good. I don't know what that means. Okay. It means Kyle isn't happy about something. Right. 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 But I don't know what that does for them. Um, yeah, it's going to slip behind the T line. Yeah. Yeah, where there was But it's uh, in the forefoot, and it looks like well, they're yeah. going to score with that rock. So. so I don't know why he was upset. They they get a point. I'm not sure. Uh, they get a point. Jesus, but man. after seven, they are going to you take a six-three lead. What yeah. Say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Team know, Dogs right? will be three down with hammer. Three down with hammer. Go flash spot. Uh, just make him sneeze. Coming. Uh, <laughs> Coming home. God, one time he sneezed by, by the oh yeah, we're done okay. with them. All right, and it looks as though in the seventh and team G A scored one point, making the score eight to four. four. Yeah. They are going to play the eighth end, but it's going to be very difficult for Team Ashford um, to come back, back for, even though they do have hammer. Um, it's going to be tough. Uh, so it looks as though Jody Ratty's shot here uh, was through the house, obviously. Um, they want to get rocks out of play. Uh, and it looks as though Michael Dobbs needs Curtis Brooks to put a guard up. He's, he calling, needs a, he's a calling a center guard, though. I'm a little curious about that. With hammer, uh, sometimes in the, you know, in the eighth, you kind of switch your strategy a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, and try to clog up the, the middle of the. The point is that you're going to need help from the other team. Yes, absolutely. And so, um, how do you make it the most difficult for them to? Uh, Curtis was a little inside. He came over yes. the center line, and it's just off center guard. So it's actually not the worst thing in the world because no. it's just slightly inside for a corner guard. Right. So I think as far as errors goes, I, I would personally that's, say that that's, that's a good error. That's not a bad place at all. I think that's running. a great error. i got to imagine Jody, Jody Ratty here in a second round is so just going to throw it through the house again as well. Um, and it looks as though his sweepers refuse to sweep, so that is definitely going through the house. Yeah, Jody just threw it. It's a laser, and then that's that. Thank you. I'm hearing bagpipers. Our bagpipers yes. left us. No. There we go. Oh, they're showing them the. Must be showing them the, the piping ceremony. There you go. Okay, so we need another guard here for Team Dobbs. And I gotta imagine he needs the guard again. And he's yes. still giving him the same line, so I don't know where exactly he wants it. Right. But my guess is on the center line. But with that slightly in corner guard, you might just wanna do another one as well, but yeah, to each their own. Um. There's Brooks shots on the way. Supers are on it right away. And calling them on the way all the way as well. It looks to me like that's that has got weight. plenty of weight. Yeah. Maybe he called them to uh what, to bring it into in the, the house, house right away. I don't know. That appears to be it because well, then they're, they're I'd sweep that. I, it keeps and it's open though. I mean that's that's a hit. Yeah. That, that that's a hit. What 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 do they know that we don't, right? I don't know, Dave. Oh. I don't eight, that's it? Well, you know. We probably bored people, Melvin. Good, 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 good job, by the way. You kept it really close, and the sixth end is what did it, you know. Mark Lawrence is trying to take out the guard. He's got a lot of weight on it. Uh, he he flashed it wide. Yeah, and he is not happy with it. It was too much weight. and Way uh, too much weight. And it and doesn't come back, no, as no. we've seen before. And he was wide. So now Team Dobbs has got to, he, he's, what is he going to do that we wouldn't he, he knows. That we don't know. What, a lot that we don't know, uh, Rob. And uh, so another, another guard. tight guard, oh, perhaps even right. biting a little bit, would not, yeah. uh, no. not hurt his feelings at all. I would hope not. 
So Team Ashford is, is uh, and Team G A are playing in oh, eighth and still. Thank you for contributing to the R rating of our uh, yes. broadcast bonus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty upfront. Do you? I would have do, never do guessed really? him. <laughs> Michael Dobbs is running out there to help sweep. They must feel that it is really light. It is really light. And that cannot be a hog at this point. No. Uh, it is going to be over, and it is coming back to the center line. Uh, it is almost a two guard. Call it a 1.75 guard. There you go. To give you an update what's going on in the third event, uh, it's still in the seventh end, and once again, it's Team Biko with a 7-3 to lead uh, after six. Uh, Team Meschino has the hammer. Uh, Dave Bykowski is throwing his, uh, I believe, first skips rock, and I believe they are sitting shot. Uh, with Team Mosquito sitting shots two and three, so this could be interesting over on Sheet A as well. So we might, make, we might get double bonus uh, coverage, actually. We might. They're, they're not uh, laying a brush to this takeout attempt. It looks like it's going to go sail on by. Yeah, I, I no, they, no, they, uh, uh, they uh, did, no, they did hit one. I didn't uh, see I the... Uh, I think they are sitting two. But yeah, yeah. But I again, see uh, the, the one, uh, a little hard to tell from rocks. this angle, and I can't see the television, so it's a little tough. Right. I'm also vertically challenged. There are certainly a lot All of right, rocks so, to play so, over there. So aren't Dobbs. You? No, it's fine. it's fine. We're still on the, she, the, the second event here. Uh, she, Dobbs is called a, a guard, but that that's going to be close. Yeah, no, it looks yeah, pretty good. Close. It might even bite. Okay, yeah, I would definitely call them up, Michael. Uh, that, that's in the house. They're sitting two. Those look to be yes, in pretty nice good event. alignment. I, I would argue that those... Uh, there's in some good spots. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, very nice, very nice shot. And now the takeout attempt yeah. for Spartacus. And this is Nick Smith delivering rock for Team Spartacus. He's a new member to Team Spartacus this year. They'll get rid of him soon. Uh, <laughs> of course, so they get rid of everybody. Right. Have you been a member of Team Spartacus yet? Uh, no, no, I was at one time the spiritual advisor to oh. Team Spart Spartacus, but that was as close as I got to playing. Well, yeah. So. I'm like the honorary member. I'm not a member, but uh, right. I'm good friends with all of them. Uh, Nick Smith did make the takeout, obviously, and uh, Team Dobbs is still sitting one, and he's trying to figure out how he gets three out of one. Mike Sells in the hack for Team Dobbs. Thought he'd be wearing a Pittsburgh jersey today, but I guess not. Every once in a while, you got to switch it up, bro. He's uh, he's crawling in a long sleeve plaid shirt, button down, and I'll tell you what, Team, team Dobbs is best dressed. You got uh, their skip in a pair of khakis and a polo, and right. and uh, looks as though a device and plaid, device and plaid so. dress shirt. And Dobbs is calling them on it, and they are sweeping hard. Those guys are. Yeah, burning they, up, they their arms sure are burning up, the rings. and they did, and they swept that Beautiful. in, and they're happy. And you got, I gotta love the converse where uh, the Chuck Taylors, the, the orange Chuckies. Chuck Taylors, the orange worn by yep. their uh, second Mark Carlson. Yep. I'm gonna go with Team Dobbs no, that's, that's, as best dressed. That's quite a fashion statement, right? Yeah, there, I'm going with Team Dobbs as best dressed. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, takeout on the way for Nick Smith. Uh, they're on it right away. Uh, looks as though they're gonna peel. Uh, they're they're going to get, get it the on the angle. Soon. It's out, and it peeled, and uh, it's clean. Uh, so, again, once again, Team Dobbs still sitting a single rock, and he's calling for the exact same thing. So Mike Sell's probably going to try to do the same thing. We have handshakes over on Sheet D. D, uh, and it looks as though Team G A, A. is going to beat Team Ashford 8-4 uh, to four in the fourth event. Those two teams lost in the A event semifinals last night, and they play in the fourth event final. So it looks as though Team G a yeah, beats Team Ashford once again. The score is eight to four. Michael Dobbs calling them on it. Now he's calling them off it. He's not sure what he wants. Now he's calling them on it. Now he's calling them off it. And, and now and back off. And I would be off, guys. Be off. You don't want to leave the double there. And they left the double exposed. At the last minute, we're trying to freeze them, but uh, yeah, that uh, wasn't going to happen. So. All right, so uh, sheet A, there is a ton of stuff in the house. <laughs> uh, is I, there ever? <laughs> it looks as though Team Bico sitting two. Uh, I, I don't know what happened there. I think it might have been burnt or light. I, I, 
Uh, uh, Tim Moschino uh, is down uh, seven to three. Seven I think. to three. Yep. They've got an opportunity to potentially get two. Maybe I. I there's there's so many rocks in in the house. I don't I don't have a clue. They're the third rock, and they're biting the forefoot as the third rock to give you an idea how. No no way Red's getting more than one. All right. Jeremy Singer on team uh, team Murray says no way. All right, uh, and there is a single takeout uh, for Kyle Buckles on his first shot. Michael Dobbs needs this in, and and it's got to stay in, right? They have to stay in. Yeah. His last two have to count. Yeah, he's got to count. Uh, so he needs the draw, and then he needs a miss, a miss and yeah. then he has a wide open house for the tie game. Uh, so this will be interesting. This is a big pressure shot because if he's light, the game's over. Correct. If you're Spartacus and he's light, then you'd probably throw through. You probably throw through, and then uh, you make them make some double run back shenanigan shot. I believe the shenanigan shot would be in order. Michael Dobbs' delivery is on the way. Curtis is close. He's cleaning it. I got to make sure it's in. It's definitely oh, in. Oh, it's definitely in. No, it's right. good draw. All right, and it's behind. Cover. No, 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 don't. You don't need to shoot it. You don't need to shoot it at all. That's a good draw yeah. back four. Yeah, all right. Better. Kyle so Buckles has a hit for the win. That's right. Any uh, redstone removed here will win the game. As long as it's part. not the guard, Dave. There is a guard up there. You don't there want to remove that. Not that. Not that red one. I mean, you could remove it, but then they have a, f a draw for the tie. Kyle Buckles' shot's on the way. He's pretty confident with this. Nick's yelling, never. He's not hitting the guard. And I think that's going to do it. That is going to do it. Oh, he gets the double. Oh, he gets the double, sits on the pin, <laughs> and there is the cowbell, and that one's official. <laughs> team Spartacus will defeat Team Dobbs with a final score of 6-3. to three. That's after 8. Kyle Buckles got a big smile on his face after that shot, Dave. That was a very nice shot. And it looks as though I don't know what happened, uh, but they're pushing rocks, and they're pushing rocks back. Yep, no so way. I believe... We have a final with Team Baikowski defeating Team Moschino after seven. I'm going to assume Baikowski scored, one, scored in the yeah. eighth or in the seven. In the seventh, they scored one. And Team Moschino just says, you know what, that's enough. Time to drink. Time to drink. Uh, I want to thank everybody that uh, watched us online for this inaugural. Thanks very um, much. I want to thank Dave here for helping out and, and, and calling some games. I want to thank Heather for running cameras because, quite frankly, neither one of us are capable of doing that's that. That's correct. And, uh, you know, hey, our next event that we'll be hosting, I believe, is men's playdowns in December. Uh, we will probably be broadcasting, I, 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 I imagine. I, I'm certain we will be uh, um, doing some web I don't believe we'll be broadcasting the junior on spiel. Uh, okay. But uh, I believe our next uh, uh, spiel that we will be, bond, uh, be broadcasting here will be men's playdowns. And then there's always the Cherry Blossom, which is in, in, in March. So uh, I'm Rob Chester. I'm going to be signing off here. Uh, it's been uh, been a great, great event. Yep. Thanks very much, Rob. And uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Thank you.